Hey, it's Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And this video is introducing another video. I put the link below. It's called Widowmaker.tv. And it's a video talking about the coronary artery calcification score, which I've mentioned before, but it's a test done at your local hospital. It's very inexpensive. And uh, right here, it's only $100. Could be more where you live. And there's no dye involved. It's a CT scan, and it's just a few minutes long. But it measures all the calcium that's in your chest. And it's also an indicator of how much plaque is in your chest, too. So this video that I have below was funded by a guy named um, David Bobbitt. And he's a CEO in uh, Dublin, and he's uh, very healthy, good cholesterol. All these factors were normal. But he happened to get this coronary artery calcium score done, and his score was 906. And two years later, he redid it after doing a lot of exercise and change, changing his diet. And in the video, he was very happy with the results, and so was the medical doctor. But his score actually went up to 1028. So it went up over 100 points. And I don't think he has the correct information on how to bring it down. But uh, they also measured how many various uh, locations of lesions he had. And um, it was first at 28. And then five, two years later, it was 33. So he had more lesions and more calcium embedded in his heart despite his exercise and whatever he did with his diet. So the main point here is that um, ketosis is super important because heart disease is high insulin. And it's high inflammation and it's high mTOR and other factors that cause disease. And ketosis lowers all of that. You want to cycle in and out of ketosis. Now, in 1971, there was an astronaut named uh, Jim Irwin, and he walked on the moon, he drove the rover around, and he got back in the capsule and he had a heart attack on the moon. And uh, he landed safely, and uh, two months later, he had another heart attack. So that's what made the um, coronary artery calcium test valid. Before that, doctors were fighting it. Some of them are still fighting it. But it should be uh, convention uh, regular conventional medical screening for any uh, middle-aged male or postmenopausal woman because it's so inexpensive. So my next video will be about introducing this particular supplement right here. And I've been working with this um, and studying it about reducing calcium in the arteries and looking for results with this test. So hang on for my next video. I'll get it out as soon as I get permission I put a, a, a snippet of another video in there. I have to have permission before I publish that. So um, watch this video. And uh, if you like this information, give me a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Thanks.